Good morning. Uh, my name is Paul Ryan, and with me this morning is my father, uh, Pastor Ron Ryan. And today we're going to bring you the prayer for illumination as well as the, the gospel lesson. So if you would, please join me in prayer. Gracious God, we do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from your mouth. Make us hungry for this heavenly food, that it may nourish us today in the ways of eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, the bread of heaven, amen. So today's gospel is taken from Matthew 16, verses 21 through 28. So Dad, why don't you give us a little pretext on this? Yes, okay. This gospel lesson is the first uh, of Jesus' predictions about his coming passion. And it follows a very important scripture in which Jesus has just asked his disciples to reveal who they thought he was. And Peter has made this great confession, you are the Christ, you are the son of the living God. And Jesus blessed Peter for those words and told him that his church would be built on that confession. In the lesson today, Jesus tells that he's going to suffer and he's going to die on a cross in Jerusalem. Peter cannot accept that. For Peter, Jesus is the Messiah. He is the one God has sent. He is to be the champion. He cannot suffer. He cannot die. And we'll hear Jesus not only rebuke Peter because he does not understand, but also predict that those who follow him will also be called upon to carry a cross. This scripture ends with Jesus rebuking Peter and telling him that those who are standing there will live to see the glory of God in Jesus Christ. Amen. So let's hear the reading. Matthew 16, verses 21. From that time on, Jesus began to explain to his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things at the hands of the elders, chief priests and teachers of the law, and that he must be killed and on the third day be raised back to life. Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. Never, Lord, he said, this shall never happen to you. Jesus turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are a hindrance to me, for you are not on the side of God, but of men. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone would come after me, let that person deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever would save their life will lose it, and whoever loses their life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit a person if they gain the whole world and forfeit their life? Or what shall a person give in return for their life? For the Son of Man is to come with his angels in the glory of his Father, and then he will repay every man for what he has done, every woman for her deeds. And truly I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death before they see the Son of Man coming in all his glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 